most of the hard stuff on our model is done at this point. Um, I've taken the mesh smooth off this model that I had in the last tutorial, so it's just an edit poly. And I'm going to start by kind of finding a spot here to put his horns. And I think what I'm going to do is put his horns right behind his eye. He's going to have a real simple horn, kind of a reindeer-like thing. And I think what I'm going to do is just start by grabbing a few of these vertices. All I'm doing is just making a little bit more of a circular area here that the vertices are going to come out of. And there we go. That'll work a little bit better for our needs. I need a um, kind of a circular area here so that the horns can be kind of rounded. So you see this area here is where the horns are going to come out of. And that round area there is going to be the shape of the horns. Now, I'm going to um, zoom out here a little bit. And I'm going to create a, don't need polygon, create a spline. I'm going to do an extrude to a spline for these horns, because that seems like it'll be fairly easy. We'll just make this in our side viewport over here. And I'm going to use a line, and what I'm going to do is drag out a line so that it's going to be close to the shape I want for the horns. And if I make this guy alt XM, you'll see here's the shape that I have so far. I'm going to hop over here to this particular one and just kind of play with this a little bit and get this guy to move in. There we go. And this particular one I'm going to stretch out a little bit. So there's the, the shape that I'm after. He's not going to have huge horns. And I'm going to take these vertices and just move them out so they're out here away from the body. Vertice in there, I didn't see. I see. We've got extra vertice there. That's what was causing the problem. Okay, and we'll just move this guy out. So they're going to be kind of like ram's horns. But I'm going to have, they're going to be double, doubled over by the time I'm done. There we go. Okay. I can see what I want to do on this guy. I think we can keep that. Okay, and that's going to give me kind of an arc and then a straight down. I can kind of do a little loop down here, actually, just by maneuvering this. So it's going to come down and then loop under. You can see it here. It gives it a little bit more of a profile. There we go. We'll get them up and above the head a little bit. So that'll get us what we want. And I'll just kind of maneuver these around so that they're where I want. I want them fairly close to the body, but not so close that they're going to intersect that head there. up here to kind of get the shape that I want. Okay, I think that'll work for for my needs. And we're going to put this piece here right at the side of his head where that's coming out. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty close. And now I'm going to go back to my animal. There he is. 
and we will take a look at these polygons we're going to do. Now, I'm going to go in here and get rid of this particular group of polygons. There we go. There we go. And we will delete those. And then I'm going to grab this open border. And I'm just going to cap that. And now that's going to give me this big, ugly, multi-sided polygon. But it's not going to be there for very long. Okay, and then this guy here is going to get extruded along a spline, which is this one. And we will... Computer's running real slow. Pick the spline. There it goes. And you'll see it'll extrude that out along the spline. We want the taper amount to go down to... Come on. There we go. Go down. Down to almost zero. Which looks like it's going to be negative one. There we go. So that comes to a point down here. And then I'm going to uh, align these. That's that kind of interesting shape there. You can see that by aligning them, you'll get a different shape. I like this, except that it's going to block his head, and I don't like that. So I think I'm going to turn that off. Yeah. And we can add more segments here. And we're going to need some more segments. So that's 12 segments. Gets us a pretty good curve. Scoot this guy around. You can see that gives us a pretty good curve there. Add a few more. How about 15 segments? That's a little better. And then we can uh, change the taper amount, or the taper curve, sorry, by... Um, Typing in different numbers. And you can see that I can give him like thick ram's horns, or we can kind of, it's basically instead of making a, uh, an even curve all the way along the spline, you're puffing it up in certain areas. So you can see five would puff it up a little bit too much. I like the two. I think I'm going to go with that. And then we can twist it. Now, twist is interesting because I can twist that horn if I want to. Twist it a lot. Let's see. Let's try 34. Yeah. We're gonna have to twist it more. It's gonna be like 360. There we go. And you can see that I could twist this horn if I wanted to to get a different shape as well. And um, you could really twist it a lot. You can twist it around like that. Add a ton more segments to it. And you can see you could have a pretty good um, ram's horn type thing going. But I think what I'm going to do is just twist this about eh, 400. I don't like that it's so flat there. How about actually 20? That's kind of interesting. Let's get a few less segments here. So we'll go back to our 15. Okay. And I'm looking at this wondering if that's what I want to go with. I don't like that big flat section there that's coming around. So I think I'm just going to go with something like... Um, actually, maybe we'll just leave it at zero. Kind of like the zero. That horn's fairly flat right now, so... You can see that it's it's pretty flat as it comes back around, which I think I'm going to keep. Okay, and um, we can just hit OK to that. So there's our horn. 
and then we can of course go back to our our handy dandy soft selections if you want to maneuver that into a different position and there and we can change the positioning on it or we can kind of stuff pieces back into each other if you want to okay and I think what I'm going to do is grab this piece up here and just kind of shove that up a little bit. There we go. Alright, and there's our horn on our critter. We can turn off Edit Poly. We can add our um, symmetry to it. And since he's centered, it's going to pop in on the other side. So there's our, our critter. I don't like this uh, top piece very much on his horn, so I'm going to go back to my vertices with soft selection on, and I'm just going to give him a little bit more bulk up here in his horn, something like that. Just kind of playing with the shape. So you can get a lot of power with this soft selection just to kind of nudge pieces around. I'm going to give them a little wider horn base here. I like that a little bit better. And um, we're done with this horn. What I'm going to do now is the ears. And when I get into these tighter areas like with the ears and we start running out of space on the model, I like to um, just rip out the polygons I'm going to use, make a separate object of them. So I'm going to use these polygons right here. One, two, three, four, five. Those guys right there. And I'm going to um, separate those out. I'm going to take uh, symmetry off in this. Well, we can leave it on. And um, detach those. We're going to call these ears. We're just going to attach as a separate object. And we'll turn off our animal there. We'll select that separate object. What I'm going to do is actually hide this guy now. And so I'm only left with um, these. I'm going to hide my spline there too. These are going to be my ears. See what I've got to work with here. Do I have two ears? No, nope, just one. Okay. And we'll zoom in. I'm going to get rid of this, hide that as well. Okay. So I'm going to make ears out of these little guys. Oops. Clicking all over the place here. There we go. And uh, I'm going to make these edible poly, so they already are. And we will just start extruding these. And kind of get a feel for how they're going to sit on the critter. And we'll just bevel them out. And what we're going to do is just bevel them out to make a quick ear-like structure. Still got soft selection on from the last process. I don't want to touch this base piece, the footprint, but I can adjust any of these others. And you can see I'm kind of maneuvering these around so that they start to make a little bit rounder piece. Okay. 
and the front of his ear is going to be right in here. Go back to bevel. Okay, the height's going to come in. We'll make these wider now. And all I need to do is get the general shape set here. Now his ear isn't blocky like that, so I'm going to start to grab some of these vertices and push them back. piece and just pull it back so it's not in the way. Okay. So that's the shape that I'm after. at this point I'm going to weld these two together because I don't want to have trouble with that interior piece there. And we'll just pull that one up to match where the other one is. There we go. Okay, and then we'll go back to beveling these guys. this piece over so it's even. I'm just kind of curving the ear forward a little bit here. Got a little bit of a curve going. Blocky still. You can see it curving forward there. That's what I'm after. Not too happy with these pieces up here. Let's move them down. And these guys down here can come up just to get that pinched in there a little bit more. kind of curving these pieces around. So that they'll meet up properly. I think we'll just do it this way. There we go. And let's get these vertices lined up again. So we're pretty flat. And then we'll um, bevel this piece out and kind of pinch it down. That's not too bad there. A little repair work there. Okay. And I'm going to weld some of these together over here now. Just so they're all together. We don't need this one and this one. There we go. Okay, and then the interior of the ear. 
which is going to be this section right here. I'm going to pull these pieces down to make the bottom of the ear stick a little bit better. So this is going to be kind of the thick piece at the bottom of the ear. Pretty good. So there's our, our ear piece. Pretty close. I need to, whoops, wrong button. I need to get in here a little closer and patch up some er other areas here. kind of a funky polygon over here. I'm going to weld these two together. I think this guy can go up here. I think that will give me a little better form. You could always cut new sections in there if you wanted to. I'm not too sure I really need to. I don't like this little piece right here is what I keep coming back to. I think I'm going to grab these sections right here. We'll add a connect in there. And uh, I think I'm going to push this down, yeah. Connect all the way around. I think we'll cut right through here. And then we'll just cut right up here. I think will work. And that'll give me some more vertices. Okay, I think that'll work. I don't like this big bump back here. Get rid of that. Push that in a little bit more. And I think we'll uh, we'll go with that for now. Now the scale still might be off quite a bit on this, so we'll um, 
bring our animal back. We'll go um, right click here and unhide all. And you can see it's probably not too bad. I got an extra leg I forgot was back there. Might as well delete that. And uh, it's not too bad. It's pretty close to what I wanted, except it's sticking way too much out in the middle of its head there. It's kind of coming out at an odd angle, so we'll go back to soft selection. Ramp this down to the base. And I think we'll just kind of curve it back and move it. And maneuvering these guys into place can be kind of tricky sometimes. Just going to move the whole thing, I think, back at a better angle. I like that a little bit better. There you go. I think I like that a little bit better. It's a little bit too big. Oops. Feel it down a little bit. Move back close to position. Okay. And then we're just going to seam this in and um, make sure it's not clipping anything. But we'll just seam this guy in. So I'll click on the animal and we're going to uh, collapse him down. And we'll go to attach. We'll attach the ear. We'll zoom in here. And this should be pretty easy to attach, seeing as we started with the original piece. So as long as we get everything to just weld back into place, we'll be all right. So we can go to Target Weld. And everything should have a spot here. tight little guy down here. He goes there. This guy goes there. And this guy, I believe, goes... Nope, got the wrong piece. Okay. This guy goes there. Come on. that pretty much got that guy all welded into place. And I'm not crazy about this angle here, so I think I'm going to go back in here. I'll grab this. Get the rings all the way around there. I'm going to go and connect these just to make another connection. And then I can go back into my original piece here. And just kind of move this out. Just so it's not as harsh of an angle there. Just kind of going around the ear and making sure it's, it's seamed in well to the rest of the body and kind of matches. There we go. There's his ear. pretty good place for it, I think. And we'll turn this off. We'll put symmetry back on. And now he's got ears on both sides. And we'll back out here a little ways. Here, 
let's hide this light too. Let's hide these lights that were hidden before. G to turn off the grid. Okay, and we're going to need to re-smooth him. If I render him now, you'll see that he, uh, he's got some angles here that have to be taken care of. And I'm just going to try and smooth everything. So 